बिस्मिल्लाम अलैक्म साइंटिस्ट हैव डिस्कवर्ड इन देयर न्यू स्टडी अ काइंड ऑफ फिश कॉल्ड हॉक फिश लखनोलाइमस मैक्सिमस दैट कैन अडॉप्ट टू द कलर इन इट्स सराउंडिंग्स इवन आफ्टर इट डाइज दिस स्टडी इन अबल्ड एक्सपर्ट्स टू मेक सेंस ऑफ द एवोल्यूशन हैबिटेड एंड अदर बिहेवियर्स ऑफ द हॉक फिश अलॉन्ग साइड देयर एबिलिटी टू अडॉप्ट क्विकली सॉन्ग जॉनसन एंड ऑथर ऑफ द स्टडी सैड इन अ वे दे कैन टेल द एनिमल वॉट इट स्किन लुक्स लाइक सिंस इट कॉन्ट रेली बैंड ओवर टू लुक there are a number of sea creatures that can change their color which have some adjust as per the environmental temperature changes attracting mates and providing camouflage said researchers according to the researchers including those from the university of north carolina wilmington in the us cells on their body called chromatophores containing pigments crystals or tiny refractive plates enabling these species to make changes in their colors rapidly The reef dwelling fish commonly found in the Atlantic Ocean from North Carolina to Brazil does this to camouflage and escape predators or maybe for social signaling. Scientists were surprised to see that activity of color changes even after their death. In the new research published in the journal Nature Communications, experts used microscopy to determine the impact of light on different parts of the fish. They found that light receptors called SWS1 underneath the chromatophore may be involved in the process. Cells are sensitive to the light shining through colors expressed by chromatophores, especially the wavelength of light that is present in their coral reef habitat. Researchers said. They also maintained that these receptors provide feedback to the fish on where and how changes are taking place in different parts of their skin. Scientists wrote in the study by examining the morphology, physiology, and optics of dermal photoreception in hogfish. We describe a cellular mechanism in which chromatophore pigment activity, for example, dispersion and aggregation, alters the transmitted light striking SWS1 receptors in the skin. The animals can literally take a photo of their own skin from the inside. In a way, they can tell the animal what its skin looks like, since it can't really bend over to look. Dr. Johnson explained.